Hey guys, it's Susie and today I'm going to be doing a face care routine and a review on the Aztec mask that I got from Amazon. So I'm just going to be starting off with listing the products I use. Uh, first, I'm going to be using some micellar water from Garnier and a cotton swab. The micellar water helps to get any oil, dirt, or makeup off your skin. Next, I'm going to be using the Aztec mask that I got off Amazon. I actually saw a lot of really good reviews on Amazon and YouTube and just people I know in general that have used this and they have great things to say about the product. So that's why I'm testing it out today. And of course, before applying the Aztec clay mask to my face, I will be washing my face with the Burt's Bees Brightening Cleanser. Um, I will use that alongside my spin brush to allow for an ultimate deep clean of my pores to make sure any trap, dirt, oil, or makeup comes out. Now onto the mask. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up my mask. Um, as you can see, the seal is still intact, so that's why I went ahead and used it. So this is what the mask looks like after you've opened it. It pretty much just looks like clay and you just have to mix it up with different ingredients to get the consistency of a clay mask. So when I ordered this mask, they actually sent me two measuring cup style um, cup things so I could scoop up the product and that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm going to go ahead and take one teaspoon of the product and just drop it into the bowl. And then I'm going to grab my apple cider vinegar and just pour that into the bowl as well using the same measuring cup. I only want about half the cup just because I didn't want to irritate my face too much. And now I'm just going to apply water. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir it up until I get the consistency of a clay mask. So this is what the mask looks like after you've mixed up all the ingredients and it is ready to be used. Like I mentioned earlier, my first step is to clean my face using the Missler Water by Garnier. So now I'm just gonna cleanse my face with my Burt's Bees face wash alongside my spin brush. After cleansing my face, I'm going to take a clean towel and just pat dry my face down just to remove all the water and make sure my face has a non-slippery surface for the other products to go on. So this is what my face looks like after it's been washed with the Burt's Bees face wash and patted dry with a towel. Now it is time to apply the face mask and I will be applying it using the brush that was sent to me with the product.
So right off the bat, my face feels a lot smoother and it feels like it got a really deep clean while the mask was on. It feels pretty tight, but not dry. So that's really good. I was afraid that this face mask was gonna actually dry out my face. After putting some of the apple cider vinegar in it, I was like, ooh, I really hope this doesn't dry out my face. And this face mask did not dry out my face at all. I typically have oily skin. My face after I wash it usually gets really dry. So if I don't apply like moisturizer or something like that, my face will feel like very brittle, but it's it'll still be oily like my T-zone area. It's smooth to the touch and my face feels really clean. Um, I haven't used it enough times to know if it works for acne or anything. I'm hoping it will work for my dark spots, but I will continue to use it and let you guys know. Alrighty, and for the final step, we will be toning our face with our homemade toner as well as our Skin Success by Palmer's Fade Cream. The toner was made with aloe vera gel, vitamin C, apple cider vinegar, and water. Now we're just going to take a cotton pad and spritz some of our toner onto it and then apply it all over our face. This is the residue that was left over after toning my face and I'm glad that it's not a lot because that means that my face was cleaned. And now we're just going to wait 5 minutes after we apply our toner to go on to our next step, which is applying vitamin C serum that I got from Amazon. I will link it down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. It pretty much just has properties that brighten up the face. Now we're just going to go ahead and massage the serum into our face and make sure that it is well absorbed before applying our moisturizer. Just look at that glow. Alrighty, so to finish things off, I'm just going to be spritzing some Mario Badescu spray all over my face just to leave my face feeling refreshed before I go to bed. Now for lip care, I just like to apply my Burt's Bees chapstick, something simple, something light, just to keep my lips refreshed while I sleep. I will also be linking the satin cap down below if you guys are interested in getting it. It's really comfortable and it stays on overnight no matter how much hair is in your head. It also has a drawstring. And as for hair care, I will be applying the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Hair Growth Serum onto my edges just to give them a little boost. I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like underneath the bonnet. It just is in a flat twist, or several flat twists, um, stocked away underneath my satin cap until my next protective style. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to tap the notification bell so you're notified as soon as I post. Once again, this is Susie, and it was nice talking to you.